Hello everybody, I'm Kevin the Skull Anderson and welcome to one of my videos on YouTube. Today I'm going to discuss my predictions for the upcoming WrestleMania 31 pay-per-view which will transpire on Sunday, March 29th, 2015 from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Let's get started. Okay, so first of all, You've got Tyson Kidd Cesaro versus The New Day versus Los Matadores versus The Usos in a fatal four-way tag team match for the tag titles. I'm assuming at this point that Kidd and Cesaro are going to retain. So that's my prediction for that. And as far as the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal is concerned, I'm predicting that Ryback will win that. Next we have Sting versus Triple H, a match 14 years in the making. And you know, I think I mean it's I don't think they're going to let Triple H lose two WrestleManias in a row. But if they do, Triple H should let Sting go over. So, I think that Sting will win that match. Next, a seven-man ladder match for the Intercontinental title. Bad News Barrett versus R-Truth versus Ambrose versus Harper versus Liv Ziggler versus Stardust versus Daniel Bryan. I'm assuming at this point that Daniel Bryan fans are going to get this are going to get the yes movement going and they're going to get their wish and Daniel Bryan's going to become the new Intercontinental Champion. Of course, the Intercontinental title as of 2015 has not been successfully defended at a WrestleMania pay-per-view since 2001. So, for that, I'm saying that Daniel Bryan will win the Intercontinental title from Bad News Barrett. Next on the card, we have Undertaker versus Bray Wyatt. Of course, Undertaker lost to Brock Lesnar at last year's WrestleMania in 2014 after suffering a severe concussion, it seems. And it'll also be his first appearance since losing to Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 30 in 2014. So almost a year. And then we have AJ Lee and Paige versus the Bellas tag team match. I think they're going to keep this rivalry going, so I'm going to assume at this point that the Bellas win this. And then we have the undefeated reigning defending U.S. champion Rusev versus the Number one contender, John Cena. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that John Cena will become the new champion. Then we have Orton versus Rollins, one-on-one. -on -one. It's a singles match. And, you know, quite frankly, I think that Rollins is going to win that one because they're going to want to find a way to keep the rivalry going into extreme rules or even payback. So, yeah. And then last on the card, Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns, the main event of the evening for the world title. The WWE world title. Now, I'm not one to go out on a limb all the time, but I will say that at the end of the day, since Brock Lesnar stand with WWE, I believe he's going to retain the title over Roman Reigns, which will lead to Roman Reigns invoking his rematch clause at Extreme Rules, and Brock Lesnar will probably retain that time. So there you have it. Four hours worth of matches summed up in about five minutes. And like I said, those are my predictions. Feel free to comment on this video to tell me what you guys think 
will win at WrestleMania. Thank you.